Well, welcome back everyone. This is Mandy and this is going to be a train wreck. So I just want to let you know I sped this video up from like an hour so that you would not have to suffer for very long. So this is some oopsie paint. It is infinity gold oopsie paint and I bought it because on the top it looks like it's going to be like a charcoal gray. That color is called muskeg gray and it has like both brown and like plum color undertones to it. It's a pretty color, but it is a really hard color to like match paint colors to. But I have a gallon of it, so I would love to know in your comments below what color palette you think would look nice with this background. So give me your thoughts. So in this painting, as you know, I've been really pushing myself to get out of my comfort zone. I love to do bloom swipes and I'm pretty comfortable doing them my way. Um, but I wanted to try using my palette knife. Well, let me tell you, I, um, all the people who use their palette knife make it look a lot easier than it is. Plus, um, I think I overthought it and really screwed it up. And I have done another screw up since then, which I will humbly share with you guys. Um, but Anyway, so I have laid down some black because I'm afraid of the background, and then I put some sapphire down, um, some cobalt turquoise light, or turquoise, I, I don't know, I can't remember at this point. I'm pretty sure that's Bellagio that I just laid down. Um, that is Indigo, I think, from Matisse. So I was trying to stick with darker colors. Oh, you know what? That color below wasn't Bellagio. It was boysenberry, I think. This is Bougainvillea. I just grabbed a bunch of things I had mixed up. This is Australian Red Violet by Matisse. And I'm basically using a Payne's Gray Cell Activator that I've had. And it's kind of old already, so I need to use it up so it's good for swipes. So let me just tell you um, up front. I either put too much pillow paint down or not enough for swipes and that seems to mess up my composition. When I get it right, I can honestly nail them and they turn out really beautiful. But when I don't get it right, the composition really suffers either because of overstretching to get to the edges or stretching too much to get enough pillow paint off. So. I decided to do a voiceover because this was like crazy long, but when I was doing it, I was super nervous about using this palette knife, and so I was telling you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. So hats off to you guys who are doing minimalist swipes and doing palette knife swipes. I'm going to get there because um, I'm more determined than anything, but um, this painting ends up being an absolute flipping train wreck. So. I have let it dry. I'm probably going to pour over it. So I would love to know your suggestions for other colors <laughs> than, um, because I have a gallon of this paint and it is very nice paint. I mean, the infinity paint is like 47 bucks a gallon. So to be able to get it from the oopsie shelf, isn't too bad. I just need to wrap my mind around some colors. I'm thinking maybe some light colors and some interference colors would look pretty cool. So one of the things I learned from watching some of you uh, palette knife swipe gurus is I really should have um, alternated instead of trying to get each swipe on each side. So I should have pulled from the far edge um, instead of pulling from the middle. So I am putting I am putting the um, cell activator on the palette knife and then swiping from there. Another thing I want to try is doing one of those like reverse swipes. Um, I think Erica did one the other day and it was super cool. So I think part of my problem and the reason why you guys keep seeing such horrible painting experiments is I try to practice too many things all at once. So I've been practicing going bigger on my blooms, blowing out my blooms different ways. <laughs> and that's been... Um, rather difficult and then I am challenging myself with how I swipe and swiping differently and using different techniques and um so like maybe I should focus on you know doing what I know with swipes for now and only focusing on going bigger with blooms until I get my handle on that because 
I'm creating a bunch of disaster along the way. And I am fairly committed to sharing the disaster with you because I, I'm i not a fan of people who only share their masterpieces. I think it's important for artists to know that, um, especially up and coming artists, that even people who have been doing this for a minute, I'm by no means a pro, but even people who have been doing this for a minute um, have times where they absolutely hate a painting. And I don't hate this painting. It just is nothing like I set out for it to be. And you'll see, like, you're probably like, well, it's not that bad yet. Oh, it's going to be so bad. You're going to, you're going to finish this video and be like, yeah, it was, it was wild. Even the people who normally tell me, this is pretty, I don't know what's wrong with you. They were like, oh yeah, this is different. So just know that, uh, I'm sharing this with you because I think you can benefit from learning from it. Not because I'm proud of this piece, because I'm not, but I I believe there um, is so much to learn from someone who is learning from their own mistakes, and I would much rather you learn from me um, than waste all this paint, because you're going to waste paint for your own learning, right? So anyway, so I don't hate some of the composition. But what's happening is um, I'm having to stretch. You see how much paint is still on there, right? So much paint. I'm having to stretch like a bunch to get um, enough pillow paint off this canvas. Because if you don't know yet, if you leave too much paint on your canvas, it's going to crack. So my logic is, even if I end up hating this, I can paint over it. But if it cracks and it has huge cracks in the canvas, it's going to be a lot more difficult to cover it. And if I do like it, then I don't want it to crack. So my initial plan was to save some of those weird lacing um, effects on one of the corners and to tilt the weight of the paint kind of three quarters down to the other corner and make it look like we sort of did that wild thing on purpose and save some of the color. Um, and so I spent like nearly an hour trying to tilt it off and trying to um, get that to work and nothing I did quite got it there and then the only way to get enough of the paint off was to sort of leave the design somewhat in the middle which is not really what I wanted to do so um, it looks like it's tilting off really easily right now but I sped this up by like 10 times so this video was over an hour and I sped it up to 10 minutes. So that should tell you how much time this actually took to get it to end up looking like this. So um, I am using the bloom recipe. This is intended to be a bloom swipe. I do have some that are not horrible. So if you're new to our channel, um, go back through some other videos. I have some swipes that were a great success and I will have some again. I'm just challenging how I do them. Um, so if you're new to our channel, please don't judge us by this painting. If you have not taken Shelley's class, you may not feel overly inspired by this painting. But um, again, don't judge us by this video. But there is a 15% off promo code in the description box below. And um, I also use a ton of color art products. I love them so much. There's also a 20% off promo code in the description box below for you. Um, I also use... Uh, or I also list what I usually use in my blooms, for example, like cell activator, pillow paint, bloom pouring medium. Obviously, I'm using a different pillow paint in this video, but um, I do share what I use. So if you have questions, feel free to reach out. And also feel free to join our Fluid Art Friends Facebook group. The link is also below, as well as our social media, our Etsy store, all that good stuff. But yeah, let me know what you think about this painting. And I would love to know what colors do you think we should use in the future? It does dry darker. Um, and it's sort of a pretty, like, almost like a mocha color. But also kind of a gray color. It's, I can kind of see how it ended up on the oopsie shelf. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts. So it ends up looking like a really messy Dutch pour. You would never know that it started off as a palette knife swipe look at it. It's just kind of crazy. But yeah, so this is Crazy Painting Monday. Um, 
there is another crazy painting coming your way soon. Um, believe it or not, I had another palette knife train wreck, but I'll get there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.